I see it all the time. I see media members talking about it, writing about it. I see, I see fans, you know, talking about it on social media and sending it to me. And this goes for the University of Miami football team. And this goes for the Miami Dolphins. I want you all, and I want you all, and here's where we don't play sensationalism. I'm not trying to get in your craw. I'm not trying to create controversy where there isn't controversy. You all can talk about recruiting. You could talk about your little fucking transfer portals. Okay. You could talk about all your free agency crap. You could talk about your street free agency crap. You could talk about the draft if you want. You could talk about undrafted players if you want. You could talk about trades. You could talk about NILs. You could talk about anything you want about players and all that shit. Until Mario freaking Cristobal and Mike freaking McDaniel actually become complete coaches on the sidelines, the Canes and the Dolphins aren't doing shit. Jack shit. I don't care if Cam Ward is a Heisman Trophy winner. Understand me, okay? I don't give a shit. I don't care if Ruben Bain gets 42 sacks this year. I don't care if Tyreek Hill has 2,000 yards. I don't care if Shaq Barrett finds the fountain of youth and gets 13 sacks. If Mike McDaniel and Mario Cristobal are the same fucking stiffs on the sidelines, they're not going anywhere. And yeah, I said stiffs. You know why? They're not complete. You're a stiff. I know Mario's a fantastic human being, a great person, great influence, great recruiter. I got all of that. On game day, you ain't shit, dude. You ain't shit. I know Mike McDaniel's got a beautiful personality. He connects with players. They like him. He's got a great offensive mind on game day. You ain't shit. I'm tired of watching you idiots talk about your NILs and talking about Tua and talking about Cam Ward and talking about this lineman and this free agent and that if these coaches can't coach, bro, this doesn't mean shit. Because I watch Eric Spolstra coach dog shit to 500. I watch him coach champions or superstars to championships. I watch him coach a number two star and a bunch of role players all the way to the finals multiple times in the Eastern Conference finals. That's coaching. Okay? That's coaching. At no point can I ever say that about Mario Cristobal in the first two years or Mike McDaniel. So keep talking about all the players you want. Okay? Keep talking about whatever draft pick and whatever trade and whatever stupid NIL and whatever transfer portal. I wipe my ass with all of that until I know I've got a stud on the sidelines that can outsmart the guy on the other side, it doesn't mean shit. You're fucking Del Harris with Kobe and with uh, Shaq, and you don't have Phil Jackson. You get me? Do you understand? That's what you are right now. So until Mike McDaniel graduates from coaching school, until Mario Cristobal graduates from coaching school, I, the rest is hot air. And I'm laughing at every one of you because I know and you don't. And media members, I know and you don't. Yeah, I'm the smarter guy in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're not talking about medicine. I'm dumb. Maybe we're talking about sales. I'm dumb. 
Maybe we're talking about architecture. I'm dumb. I'm not getting in that conversation. We're talking about football. Here you go. I'm the smartest guy in the room. Okay? Because obviously there's a lot of dumb people out there. Players, they matter up unto a point. If you don't have the guy that knows how to put them in positions to be successful, it don't mean shit, dude. I watch Shula with Woodstrock. I watch Shula with Bob Greasy. I watch Shula with Marino. Three completely different teams. That's coaching. I can't say that about Mario Cristobal at any point whatsoever. And I can't say it about Mike McDaniel either. So you go ahead and keep bragging about your players. And let's trade for that guy and sign that NIL guy. And I hope he transfers. And I hope we draft him. None of it means jack shit. None of it means jack shit, dude. It doesn't mean anything. Until Mike and Mario grow up and become like real complete coaches, the Canes and the Dolphins aren't going anywhere. I don't care how talented they are. You know why? Because when you have a dumbass on the sidelines, it happens in the Fiesta Bowl with Jimmy Johnson. Oh, yeah, I think I'll let Vinny Testaverde continue to throw the ball. Way to go, dumbass. You know, sometimes, yeah, you're a riverboat gambler and, you know, talent can carry you. Sometimes you're going to have to coach yourself out of it. Some can't coach themselves out of it. Some of them just need a whole shitload of talent to win because they're not bright enough to say, yeah, no, Vinny Testaverde threw four interceptions last year in the Sugar Bowl against Tennessee. Yeah, I'm not going to allow that again here against Penn State. No, but I am. Oh. Riverboat gambler. You can have stupid coaching. And sometimes, you know, I guess they'll get lucky if they have enough talent. So whatever you want to talk about with players, with the Dolphins, and, oh, we're going to have this linebacker, and we're going to – oh, Tua needs this. or No, no. What Tua needs is a real coach on the sidelines. He's got a guy that can help him on the offensive side with points, but he – he still doesn't know how to manage the damn game. So he doesn't help anybody. You know? In the end, he hurts his team as much as he helps his team. I mean, you're in a playoff game and you don't even know the down. What the fuck is that? It's the same thing. Jimmy Johnson sees Vinny Testaverde's dumbass continuing to throw interceptions, and he continues to let him go. Mike McDaniel's dumbass sees the running game dominating, and he abandons it. What? We're averaging seven yards a carry against the Bills, and you're just going to stop? Talk about all the players you want, ladies and gentlemen. Until McDaniel and until Cristobal graduate from actually being a real head coach and really scheming, out scheming people and, and being able to make the right decisions on game day and at that moment and knowing when to take a knee and knowing when to stay with the run, okay? If they don't learn how to do those things, the talent doesn't matter. It just won't matter. So knock yourselves out. The most important factors in the Canes and the Dolphins season is Mario Cristobal and Mike McDaniel, and I don't know how many times I have to repeat it. Neither guy has proven that he is a complete head coach. Both have proven they are absolutely incomplete as coaches. They've got a ton of potential. We all know that. But we have to be honest. They are not even close to being complete head coaches. 
So it better happen soon. Mario's lucky. He's going to buy himself a couple more years because they can't just get rid of him that easy. But Mike won't have that same luck. So he better turn it around with a quickness because he's got a year, maybe two left. Maybe. Maybe. Because if it's not good enough this year, it's hot seat time. I told you that. I told you what he did last year is he put himself into the, this is the season that he either crosses a threshold or puts his ass right into a hot seat. The, 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 the fuse will be very short for him. I'm telling you. Okay. So talk all you want about recruiting and drafts and NILs and all that. None of it means shit. If those two coaches don't figure it out. This is the big O show. This is the big O show.